going on, ladies and gentlemen? And my name is Nick Bartell, editor in chief for Techno Warriors TV, and welcome to another spooky, spooky paranormal interview. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my super exciting pleasure to introduce the first exorcist we have had in the studio with us today, Salad Vane. He is coming all the way from Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma, but he's originally from the uh, Vietnam, Laos. Laos. It's in between Vietnam and Korea, and Thailand. Thailand. Sorry. Um. So basically, it's down like Thailand down there, but it is really amazing. He is a a world-renowned exorcist in the area, and pretty much what he does is he um like what you say. He's done. Uh, he's delivers demons from people. Uh, he think of him as another. You ever heard of Bob Larson? A big shout out to him as well. But he is just another exorcist out there. But if you like spooky stuff, then you're gonna be in for a treat today because we have some spooky, spooky stuff for you today. You're going to want to get some adult depends diaper for this one. Because that's how scary this is going to be. And later in the interview, there's going to be a little break in there. And you'll get to see what Salad, Salad does. It is, and it is scary as <laughs> That's how scary this is. <laughs> if you see that, if you see that thing that just popped up. We normally reserve that for haunted house reviews, but for salad, he gets the scary as asterisk asterisk ask word. That's right. That's how scary this is gonna be. He has seen some of the spookiest. He's done some of the spookiest exorcisms. He's witnessed demonic possession. Um, he's witnessed demonic encounters. He's seen a whole host of demons. So you're going to want to get some Irie Coffee Teas and Bobas, which is our sponsor for this video, located in Holloman, New Mexico, and at Holloman Air Force Base. Big shout out to Christopher Newhart and Gwendolyn Allen. You can check out the Techno Warriors TV Boba there with six... 728 milligrams of caffeine. That's right. It's in a, you can get it in a cup style or a light or a like actual light lamp bulb style. It's really cool. So it's going to give you the hyperness you need. So if you're out there on base doing your military thing, it's going to give you the energy. So, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for. The first Exorcist interview of Salad Bang here on Techno Warriors TV. Without further ado, tell us about what you do and take it away. First of all, I would like to thank Nick, uh, Techno Warriors TV, for giving me some time to speak uh, to the audience and to everybody all over the world. To know that there's really spooky stuff, very scary stuff out there that we do not know about in the physical, but in the spiritual, there are real spooky stuff out there. Demons, I'm telling you, angels, and I've seen them all. I've seen all different shapes and sizes uh, from ghostly figures to like giant, 30-foot uh, tall, bloody, muscular, Martian, like head small, uh, big, skinny, uh, large, all sizes, and I'm telling you, they're really freaky, very freaky, and very scary at first. And uh, so, first of all, well, I just want to say that um, I'm am I am a medical doctor, MD, like a medical doctor, my doctor of medicine. Also, I'm a chiropractor. I have two double degrees, and um, and it is so hard to convince a scientist, a doctor, or lawyer to believe in the spiritual stuff, crazy. We don't believe in that stuff. You know, we, we learn from evolutionary theory that we're from monkeys, you know? And uh, we don't believe in spirits, demons, uh, angels, no. Uh, so it takes something very powerful to, to convince somebody like me or other scientists or doctors or lawyers. So what happened to me was when um, 
I, I uh, had a few friends uh, back in 2000, I think it was like 2014, 15, and they're local leaders. So they're taking my, me now to the to a club because it was, was Thanksgiving. And uh, I told my wife to go, and she said no, she didn't want to go because she didn't want to go out and drink and get drunk. You know, because because I was a, I mean, I I really liked drinking and getting drunk back then, and um, so anyway. To party, let's go. Yeah, I really liked to party back then. I was a wild, 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 um, you know, uh, person, and so I went and my friends, the local leaders, they came, and we were eating and drinking. All of a sudden, I started seeing uh, dark shadows coming out through the walls into the club. Whoa, and that's were, spooky. I mean, it was crazy. It's, it was scary. And then those green and dark shadows, they were blowing green, uh, green, uh, uh, blowing green uh, air into people. And my friends, you know, and they were getting more drunk. And then they were doing crazy stuff. And then I got scared. And then one of the demons uh, pulled my, uh, uh, my coat jacket backward. I looked, there was no one there. I got freaked out. So I saw, I told my wife, hey, let's go to the bathroom. When we got there, I said, hey, let's go home. I had enough of this, you know, scary stuff. So anyway, we came home and I told my wife, hey, how we, how, how, okay, I, I, I don't like demons. I'm afraid of demons. I don't want to see demons in, anymore. How do I get rid of it? And she said, well, you know, you just uh, come to Jesus, give your life to Jesus. And I said, who is he? Who's, who's your Jesus? He said, just repent and ask him to forgive you. So I did. And then all this crazy stuff, we were praying and then this light came. It was like this light, beautiful light came. And I froze and it was just crazy. And anyway, uh, so I, I was uh, saved. And then my daughter, she... Uh, they were demons. People were doing witchcraft. They, seen de they were sending demons to attack my family, but it did not get me or my wife. I, it, it, uh, one day, back uh, in 2013, she was having a lot of headaches for a month, and I came to her room. Her sisters told me to go to her room, and it said uh, she's having a severe headache. Go and see her. I went in there with them, and I, she, and then my oldest daughter at that time, she was 15 years old. She said, hey, Dad, there are two shadows by the door. Oh, no, they're moving to the window now. They're moving to the window. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. And boom, she, she got into like a seizure. And then she lost her memory, her motor skill. She got, she's just bad bound and doctors could not help her anymore. Then I said, all right, this is it. I'm, I'm, I'm mad at these demons. I'm going to fight these demons. I, they, well, how, how am I going to fight them? And then I, I asked God uh, how to fight, how to see these demons. And then for one month, one month, just that one month, I was seeing demons and angels. It was crazy. Uh, and uh, so God was training me in my dreams how to fight demons. I was using my hand to fight a sword. Uh, There's weapons and spiritual battle is crazy. I saw the demons that look like your background there. I saw demons that look like aliens, zombies, ghostly figures like those uh, you see at the, at, at the cemeteries where they come up and look like ghostly figures of a person figure or demon figure. Like like the, I seen some demons that look like uh, 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 reign of the lords, those giant uh, demonic uh, uh, demons. And then they were coming to attack my family. So they were all outside our house. It was in Appleton, Wisconsin. And then, uh, and then we were praying and all of a sudden, two angels from heaven came. They're the bright, they're bright, uh, big angels fighting against the demon up on the top of a house. It was like you could hear them, like fighting with a sword. Like you, I could hear, nobody could hear, but I could hear them fighting, fighting. And my my children, they saw some figures. My wife, she saw the demons and she saw these angels coming to. It was crazy. I didn't go to work. I closed my clinic. I all the windows. I just kind of like put. Uh, doors um, uh, uh, met, uh, what do you call, uh, wood on the on the windows, so that the demons cannot get in the house. But they still they could get in. They could go through the walls. It was crazy. Wow. That time. So this is just like, have you ever seen that? Like some of these crazy movies, like um, like the Conjuring series. Now, um, if you if you've seen the Conjuring series, 
You may have had wet, uh, you, you may have had brown underwear because that's how scary that those movies are. To put yeah. in context, some of the stuff, like take a look at our background. Look how spooky that thing is. Look how spooky that thing is. So this is some of the stuff he has seen. I mean, it is just absolutely mind boggling spooky. Very spooky, super spooky. I I peed in my pants when I first saw those demons. It was that, that oh crazy. Oh my god! You pissed yep. your pants. Holy I mean, like oh. a little bit, but not a lot. But because I was okay, so we were fasting and praying for my daughter. She was bed bound. The doctor said that medical doctors say they could not help her anymore. So then we fasted and prayed, and we went to her room, and we were praying. We were speaking in tongues. Boom! Two angels came, and they were bright, tall, taller than the room. They were like bright, and they're holding golden sword. And two demons came out of my daughter's body. They're about three foot tall. They're like shadows. And then they they had some this magnet heat moving around, and I got scared. I got so scared. They went to the wall. They disappeared. The angels disappeared, and my daughter got up. She was cured, cured. Wow. And I'm like, okay. Now what's gonna happen next? God, I, man, I don't want demons to to uh, tort, to uh, uh, to, uh, to attack my family anymore. What should I do? I want to learn how to fight these demons. I want to see what they look like. So God opened my eyes. I can see demons. I can hear what they're talking about. I can smell. I can taste a mile, two, three hundred miles away. I could smell. I can sense like my sense. My 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 five senses became like super super, just super. It opened up, and I could see in the sixth sense. I could see in the spiritual world. I can see demons. I can see through walls. I can see through trees. I can see through leaves. I mean, there is was crazy. And then um, my first uh, casting of demons was this lady. She was in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, and she was 40 at that time. She at that time she was 40 years old. Her mom called us to go and and cast out demons. Okay, it was the first casting of demons. It was the spookiest, it was the scariest I've ever seen in my life. It, she, she was at the time 40 years old, but she looked like 90 years old. She had no teeth. She had no teeth. Her, she was dry. She looked like, she looked scary. And she would <laughs> keep making this song. Oh, oh my God, it's like creepy. That. It was spooky. Her <laughs> eyes was big. She's wow. From, yeah, it, she's from Laos. It, when she was a teenager, her mom said that she was normal. But when she went to the farm in Laos, a demon got inside her. She was possessed by demon. And so ever since then, she was never the same. And she was just uh, got more. Uh, she was like that. Just. <laughs> and we were. I said, hey, demon, come out of her now in Jesus name. You come out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ. And she was just going. Oh. And nothing was coming out. She, the demon was not coming out. And we tried to hold her hand. We tried to hold her hand and say, come out, come out. And then she, the demons would not come out. It was my first time. It was so scary. And a few people left the room. And I said, you come out now, demon. Uh, and she was on the bed. She, and, she was, and she looked at me. She looked at me like this. And her eyes opened this big. And she was like, yeah. And I got spooked. I got so scared. That was the first time I was casting our demons. I didn't know what I was doing. And I, I ran out the floor. Like five feet in the air. Yeah. I <laughs> ran out there and I said, hey, that's crazy. I'm not doing this. <laughs> what are you guys doing out there? We come into the bedroom and help me. And uh, that was uh, my first experience. It was the spookiest. I mean, uh, casting our demon. She was, that lady was possessed by demons. I'm telling you, it was crazy. So that was and then after first exorcism. Yeah, that was the first, it was the scariest, it was crazy. You know, people say that coming to God is so nice and happy. But me, I'm coming to God was like scary, scary. It was, I had to see demons first and, and before I could see the beautiful things. But it was ugly, demon, demonic, all this crazy stuff, scary, spooky stuff. I mean, it was not like, like people say happy stuff. It's not happy. It was scary, spooky. And every night I go to sleep, I would see demons. I would see graves, walking on dead people, walking on zombies. I would be fighting with zombies, and, you know, they would not die. These zombies, 
they're like stone and they get down they get up i oh, mean wow. it was crazy. So it's like you couldn't even kill them no you cannot even kill them you kick them you punch them you say you know you say uh, uh, dry up or be scattered or uh, uh, vanish in jesus name it just, it just doesn't work so you and there's not even not even not not even the people from the walking dead could even yeah. get them yeah not even that it didn't work i think but the, the first encounter when when God was teaching me how to cast out demon was a, a little alien, about two, three foot tall, big head, just exactly like an alien, like you see on TV, UFOs, exactly like that, exactly like that in my dreams. And they would come, and I it was so they're so easy. I said, okay, in Jesus' name, just uh, vanish. And they were they would shake, and then they would just fall on the ground. They they vanish. They fall easy. on the ground. Just vanish. Yeah, they just vanish. But and then I said, "Hey, are you a demon or are you human?" In my dream, and they say, "I'm a demon." And then and then I said, "Hey, are you de you're a demon?" So then in Jesus' name, uh, 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 disappear or get away. And they would just go fall on the ground and they disappear. Those are the little demons. Later, I got to the bigger demons. The bigger demons, they oh man, they're hard. They they're not gonna fall. They're not gonna go. They're like nine feet tall, muscular. And I say, okay, in Jesus' name, fall down or be destroyed. They, they fall down, they get up, and they just will not go away. And so the bigger demons came, <clears throat> nine foot tall, and then later I, 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 I was able to, to defeat them <clears throat> using the sword and the word of God. And then other demons came, 13, 13 foot tall, 15, 20, and the biggest one was like 29, 30 foot tall, a giant. And those are the hard ones. But then I learned ways to go overcome them and uh, and um, and also uh, uh, fight against them. And then later on, there were dragons. They're big dragons, not small ones. They're like dragons, how you see what you see in TV. They'll come out from from the I, I'm like I'm the bridge, and they're down in the river. They come up to attack me. I just take a sword out of my back and I cut their neck off. I cut cut the neck off of the dragon and I put it in a bag and I was able to carry home. It was oh, wow. crazy. So like, did they yeah. have those huge teeth and everything? Huge teeth and everything, just like in the movies. It was crazy. At first, <laughs> I saw some uh, uh, dragons. I was scared. I was not able to defeat them. But the more dreams I had, the more fight I had, and I was able to defeat them. And then there was no more dreams like that. So uh, God is teaching you step by step how to fight uh, these uh, like uh, uh, evil spirits. So <clears throat> anyway, after I I graduated, you know, like went through all the process, and then. Um, God took me all over the world, uh, you, as you can see on YouTube, all over the world, all over the United States, black church, white church, Hispanic church, um, Asian church, all kind of churches all over the world. I've been traveling all over the world and seeing demons, witchcraft, voodoo. Man, I went to Haiti and this voodoo master, they're calling demons every night outside of the hotel. They were drinking blood, they were doing fire, de calling demons. And the demons came to my the hotel where my wife and we were sleeping. We were sleeping like three in the morning. And the demons came running up in the hotel, blah, 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 just walking up there. And then they came through the wall. They, they looked like black shadows. They, they were talking in French or some kind of language. So my wife and I, we just ignored them and they just passed right through. And they just passed right through? They didn't even... They, they, they passed through the wall, but they were talking in the room where we were sleeping. They were talking like weird in a language. I don't know, it looked like it sounded like a French or some kind of language, but we didn't know exactly what they're talking about. We could hear them, we can see them talking like shadows, and they look like those Haitian people. You know, the voodoo master, the voodoo master uh, sent those demons to attack us. Why? Because we were on top, the day before that, we were on top of the voodoo master temple. We were up there, we were preaching, and the voodoo master got angry, and they sent demons to attack us. It was cool. The <laughs> demons came. And it was dog was barking it was three in the morning dogs were barking outside the demons were running on, on the hotel Nobody was sleeping in the hotel except the owner and us. It was crazy Spooky and, just, and it just and now one thing AT. Have you uh, like what types of sounds would you hear would you like hear like really weird sounds like you know really creepy it, demonic sounds? No, it was more like a walking like boom, 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 like somebody running up up on the top of the house, the the hotel. It's it's like a small house hotel, small house hotel. It's not a big hotel, but it was on top. And then dogs were barking outside, like barking, barking. Like what kind of shadows came in? And then you had shadows coming in. 
yeah, the shadows coming in and they were talking in a weird language, like a weird language that we didn't know what they're talking about. But that was it. And that was that and we were not scared at all. It was, it was weird. We were not scared because we got so used to it. Because before that, we went to uh, we went to we went to uh, India. We went to India. When we got there, there was a big demon that came right through the tall hotel we were sleeping. It, the, the demon, the principality, uh, and other demons, they were looking at us from above the sky. The sky was open, and they looked down through the hotel. We could see their big eyeballs, their big face was bigger than hotel. They were looking at us while we were sleeping in the hotel, but we were not scared at all. And and that and we, we so we went through a lot before we, we encountered those little things. It was crazy. And uh, we went to Thailand, and the demons sent some witchcraft to attack us. And all of a sudden, my wife, she had like leprosy on her skin. All of a sudden, I had my thumb was all black. Was it fell off? <laughs> we have, it what the crazy. hell? Oh. It was crazy. And then at that time, we were babies. We didn't know how to fight demons. But it was our first time overseas back in 2017. And uh, I mean, it was crazy. We went to uh, uh, we went to Africa, and they were doing. Uh, witchcraft demon you know like those voodoo stuff i mean it was crazy but this is more demons over there man i'm telling you we could see we went to like this place where they kill like uh uh um uh, uh almost a million people in 100 days with machetes oh wow yeah, i think rwanda rwanda and we went there we could see those demon spirits walking on the road on the streets up the hotel on the mountain it was spooky and it it it, it, it made our vehicle die at midnight we were coming from the mountain of miracles that died right there in the, in the middle of nowhere. And there's demons coming, shadows everywhere. It was crazy. Spooky. Now, let it, ladies and gentlemen, please note, adult depend ciphers are recommended if you ever go, you know, if you ever go to one of these places, uh, West Salvang, you're going to want to carry, carry some uh, depends with you because that's how scary it is. You are going to piss your pants you're going to crap your pants because it's going to be that scary. It is scary as <laughs> and, then, and I'm not kidding around. The world of, you know, the world of demonology, the world of exorcisms and, you know, exercising demons, casting out demons, deliverance. It is no joke. It okay. is no joke at all. Because it, it's very real and serious, and people are really possessed by demons. And so my wife and I, we've been traveling over 20 countries all over the world in the last four or five years, and we don't cast out demons. To I mean, you, you can watch on Salad Vang uh, YouTube, YouTube under Salad Vang. Yes, that's right. Like the food, salad, S A L A D, and last name is Vang, V A N G. You can go there and watch those. Uh, demon casting out demons videos from all over the world. I'm telling you, those demons, they were like they would make a sound like a uh, like a tiger, <laughs> like that, <laughs> or they make a move like a snake. They make a body like a snake, and the blood will come out. There's a, we were casting out demon a pig, a demon a, a demon a pig got into a guy. He was eating he, he was eating blood, and he was eating blood and, and raw meat, and we cast him out, and all of a sudden the blood came out of his nose. You can see that on YouTube. We were doing that on YouTube. The blood was coming at his nose and mouth. It was crazy. Now, He's, go ahead, keep going. Yeah, he also a demon, a dog, a dog demon went inside him. And they came out and the blood was coming out of his nose and his mouth. It was scary, spooky, spooky. Put on your seatbelt. True story, real life, true story. It's on YouTube, real life in action. All over the world. So, ladies and gentlemen, right now, this is a small sample of what you're going to see. Do I look in a chick who don't talk? You're down it, don't talk. Come out! But you don't look at when you can't come out! Got to get a shot to down a dappy. They talk the shinamo. Get on board. That day, the spirit pig. All evil spirits, false spirits, unclean spirits. Need to turn to the shinamo. Naked to get a shinamo. To get a shinamo. Come out! To get a shot. Come out! Look at the shinamo. Come out! Only Jesus got a rupee. Look at the shinamo. The blood is coming in his nose. The now the blood is coming in his nose. 
The evil spirit, you see the blood is coming out of his nose and his mouth after he communion. He drink the, the, the holy water, we went to the water, and now the blood is coming out. The evil spirit is coming out. You see all the blood coming out of his mouth and his nose after he drink the water. Come out! Okay, that's not that pay. You know, that boy, that then the spirit of pig, tiger, snake, and the spirit of eating raw, uh, of the flesh or meat, come out! Evil spirits, unclean spirits, talk in the snow, the cinnamon, talk in the snow, talk in the cinnamon, talk in the snow, the tanto yanda pay, that pay, come out right now! The tanto, the tanto, the tanto, the get a snow, the get a snow, the get a look, the hunchu, the toho, the look bra, be watch it, the look, who you can, fire! Who you can, the tanto look, you know, the snow, the pop, the little bay. Oh, hola, oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Go watch it, Joe. Two a car, um, that's not a couple of potty car, gun your hot to a two. The polar, do you know, gun up for you to do? Do you know, gun up for you to do? Who do you not try to die? You're gonna go, Nico of a pony. No, it's not for your kitty loss. Oh, good. Do you know, good, good. Cup of poke, we don't do. Do you know who I am? Cup of poke, we don't do. Amen. He says he knows my name. My name is uh, Pastor Salavain. And he knows no, he's aware now. He says, he says, he says, you have to obey in the. Good. Okay. I see who you are now. No way! Ah uh ah! -uh. No way! He doesn't Lost. belong to you. Rejection! I Fear! Come you. out! Come out! Come out! Don't do it, but Lord! Come out! 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, have you changed your pants now? Okay, we have some more stuff to tell you now. Salad has done so many exorcisms. How many exorcisms would you say you have done through your whole time Hun being an exorcist? Hundreds, hundreds, thousands, thousands, thousands. Like how many? I would say would you thousands. Say? I don't know. Too many to count. <laughs> so I basically, would take... two, three, four thousand. Yeah, or more, or more. Holy crap! So, so many. So this many. guy has done. Not just, you know, hundreds of exorcisms. He has done thousands. And I mean thousands. tens of thousands. This is yes. a world-renowned exorcist that we have in our sh on, on the show today with you guys, ladies and gentlemen. And this ain't no, you know, this ain't no fairy tale. This ain't no clout type of thing. This is as real as it gets. Because, ladies and gentlemen, and also... Sal Bang has made sure those demons don't interrupt us or try to jump through the screen because he's got God on his side and he'll make sure no one screws with us. Isn't that right? <clears throat> That's correct. Because God is powerful and uh, so he's going to make this through so the world knows about spiritual realm that we're not alone. We are not alone. There's another side, another realm, another world next to us that they can see us, but we cannot see them until God opens your eyes to see them. Then you will know who they are. They are always attacking you. What do they do? These demons, they come and they attack you, make you angry, make you depressed, make you sad, and then commit suicide, make you angry, you can take revenge, and you murder. See, these demons, they do that, but we don't see them, we think it's ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we go and we cast out demons when people are possessed, and they move like a snake, they move like a, like a tiger, they move like an animal, and they do like, they, they don't know who they are anymore, they crawl on the ground, and so things like that, and we say, come out, in the name of Jesus Christ, and they say, 
No. Uh huh. And we say, Who are you? I'm Lucifer. Oh my what God. What are you doing in this person? We came to destroy her like this. You must get out. No. No. So they don't want to get out. And you have to, you have to really fight. And it's like, like you got case. the spiritual AR 15s. You got these spiritual guns. Yes. You got the spiritual words, which is the weapons, the guns, the weapons the, the, to, to fight. And so um, it's just amazing, you know, like uh, just uh, thousands and thousands of deliverance that we've done and uh, we've seen and we've traveled and we've seen all kinds of demons uh, uh, that uh, people are being uh, possessed and now they're being free. And, and, and so it is really real. I'm just telling you that I'm talking from a scientist, uh, a doctor's uh, point of view that we don't be, uh, uh, we don't believe in spirits uh, until we see it. It's like we don't believe until we see it, but until you see it, you know, we believe it. We need proofs, facts, you know, those things. Well, I saw firsthand. I saw firsthand when that happened back a few years ago, and it, they're really real. When we were being attacked by uh, people who didn't like us and they send demons witchcraft they're from our country you know they're from there are people they're from our country they didn't li like us because they were jealous so they called the demons from the grave they summoned demons to the grave those demons came at night two three in the morning they surrounded our house oh, we saw like wow. a, we saw like a woman outside our house she was wearing like a weird scary costume outside talking like two demons Make, doing spells, doing spells, witch spells. It was crazy. And that's how demons came in and attacked my daughter and attacked my family. And I said, no more. I'm going to fight you demons. I'm going to, I'm going to fight you. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to beat you up and I'm not going to allow you to touch my family again. And then I went deeper, deeper, deeper. And God trained me deeper how to fight in the spiritual realm. I can fly. I can fly. I can jump over a mountain. I can jump over a house. In a spiritual realm, I can take that sword and I can just swing one with fire and burn those demons down. And like a thunder, lightning striking, the demons will be just boom, like a nuclear weapon. I mean, it's powerful in the nuclear, in, in the spiritual world. You can think it just happens. You And you by faith. In the spiritual world, it's really real. And, you know, with, with the Holy Spirit high, guiding you, and God helping you, you know, you can go there and he'll protect you and you just take his uh, 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 word, which is the sword, the name Jesus. You go there and there's demons everywhere. And you, how you know is you just ask them, OK, uh, in Jesus name, are you a demon or a human? And 99 percent of the time they say they're a demon, even though they look like a human. And you say, come out, burn, die. And then they just shake and they just like disappear. But in the real world, we go to different countries and many places. We see so many people who are being uh, possessed by demons, and we they and 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 when and and those demons are, are really uh, uh, are controlling them, and they don't know who they are. But when they're free, and they know who they are, and they know who helped him, then they start a new life, a new life, a new start. And that's awesome. How do you know if someone's mentally ill or they're actually possessed? Yes. Well, the ones that are possessed, uh, they, they were manifest. They were manifest. You say, who are you? In Jesus' name, they will say, I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm a serpent. Mm -hmm. uh, and you say, where are you from? I'm from the ocean. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing this person? And they know how to speak. They, they say, like, I'm here to destroy his life his family you see they can speak you know and then there's a demon possessing them and we say who are you and they will not say their name but they'll say that they're they're uh, lucifer or a, a snake or a tiger or a dragon or they say they're a demon of uh, a prostitute a prostitute demon you know we were casting out this demon in, in a woman and i say who are you she said i'm a demon a prostitute so you jezebel know? have you heard of the demon jezebel yeah. jezebel so, so we were casting out this the demon out, and finally this demon came out, and I put it on YouTube already, and um, I I translated, <laughs> and uh, so it's it's uh, but a person that is just mentally uh, 
you know, uh, mentally, um, mentally incapable, Ill. yeah, ill, is is a is a little different. You know, they're they're either just numbed or they don't speak to you. They're just like a stone, or they 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 uh, you know losing memory or some kind of like uh, they they're just not uh, uh, conscious or functional. So you Something... can tell the difference between um, mental psychosis or demonic masturbation or demonic possession. Yes. Now, it, um, another question, and sorry for interrupting. Have you, like, you know, have you ever seen, like, anyone, like, you know, have a really creepy voice or, like, a really demonic, spooky voice when manifesting? Have you ever seen someone levitate while manifesting? Uh, never, I have never seen levitation, but I've seen spooky sounds. Like I said, the lady that goes, and some go, like, ooh! Like a like a like a greyhound or like a like a what do you call it uh, some kind of dog? Uh -huh. um, they were howling. Howling, yeah. And then like like the you 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 seen uh you seen uh uh Reuben, like a tiger. He goes <laughs> like this. It was like <laughs> wow. It's like a tiger, you know. Uh -huh. And um, uh -huh. and then um, uh, let me see. Um, some are gentle, you know. Some are like talk uh, very sweet talking. Uh, so, and, and some are are very uh, violent. Violent. I've seen those violent ones where you hold them, six, four to six men holding a small, skinny, uh, a young lady, and she was so strong. She would throw them all around. She would just throw us all around. She's so strong. She didn't eat. She didn't pee. She didn't go to poop for like a week or two. But still, she's so strong and skinny. And she just, she just possessed by demons. Like, dude, she would just throw around like rag dolls. Yep, yep, like rag dogs. We that was like the I think the the third uh, demon uh, that my uh, uh, cousin of demon. She was the third one. It was the freakiest one too. She, I I put that on YouTube and uh, Facebook already. And she she I mean that was the scare. Her eyes would go like so big, and she would be like. <laughs> like that. And, we were casting out that her the demons out of her at like midnight, one, two, all night, all night, all night. We were there all night with her, and then the, the, the people that came with us they were so freaked out, freaked out <laughs> because she would just look at their faces and go, "Why did you let that before?" <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh and her eyes would just go, it's this true. Awesome. We have it on tape. We have it on tape. We have it on tape. We recorded all this. What I just did. It, it's more scary than what I just showed you. Okay, so if you want to, ladies and gentlemen. He is going to be sending me, you know, he's going to be sending me everything that I can put into the video. And where we'll be putting it is, um, if, you know, it is going to be absolutely insane. So, um, before uh, we got to this segment, we even have more. So, we're just going to show you even more. So, here is some more spooky out of this man right now and you must do so because it is the name above every name i command you to come out of this man and do not ever enter him again in the name of the lord jesus christ who are you i said who are you i said who are you what are you doing in this man <laughs> this body of christ what are you doing devil I command you to speak. Who are you and where did you come from? Speak now. Speak now. I said speak in the name of Jesus Christ. You have to obey. You have to obey. In the... Good. Okay. I see who you are now. You're the, you're the, uh, you're the, the demon. Um, do you have a name? Uh, demon, do you have a name? Do you have a name, demon? In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, who are you? I said, who are you? Speak before I take the word of God and burn you up. Speak before I burn you with the fire, the word of God, and you're going to be in pain. No. Yes, you will no. be in pain. Yes, you'll be in pain. Tell me, who are you? I said, I said, who are you? Come on, tell me. What is your name? What is your name? Speak 
No! Of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. I rebuke <laughs> and bind every evil spirit right now. Witchcraft, voodoo, come out! Come out! You come out right now, devil, out of this young man before you get burned okay. deeper. And you are going to go out of this body right now because it is the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you are going. You're going to get hurt. You're going to be in pain. I am going to burn you. I am going to pierce you. You're going to be destroyed. If you don't get out, you're going to be in pain. You're going to be in pain. You're going to be in terrible pain. And you must leave right now. I said you must leave right now. I said go. I bind. I rebuke all familiar spirits. All familiar spirits, spirit guys, they were gonna get burned deeper, and, and the sword is gonna pierce you more. You must come out! Come out! You cannot hold him any longer. You have, you lost. You have lost. You are destroyed. People, I said, speak right now. Who are you? <laughs> What is your name? No. No. Yes. He belongs to me now. He belongs to me. No way. Uh -uh. No way. He doesn't belong to you. Devil, you lost. You must go out right in his body right now. Hold your peace. And come out, devil. I rebuke you. And I command you in a name no. of Jesus Christ. No. Ow! Right! No! No! Leave! No. I said leave right now. No. I said you must leave. Devil, leave! Leave this young man now! Leave him no. now! Come out! Come out! Come out! Fire! Fire! Come out! I said. Come out! Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind and rebuke any demons that will block his way right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. From every evil spirit right now, and others in the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, come out! Come out! I command you to go right now, devil. Leave! I said leave right now! I command all evil spirits of lust, rejection, fear, come out! Come out! Come out, devil! Come out, devil! Come out, Satan! I say, come out of this man now! You must be gone! I take the word of God and I burn you out of this man! I burn you out of this man! Burn you out of this man! Be released, young man! Be released! I command fear, disease, anger, hatred! Come out! Come out now! Let all evil spirits and curses come out now! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I guess you're not going to sleep for the next couple days, huh? You're gonna be staying up all night hugging your pillow. This stuff is... This guy is like the general. He's a spiritual general. Now, big shout out to Ruben Martinez. Now, if you guys remember, we did have Ruben's... Uh, the exorcism of Ruben Martinez. Um, we talked, we talked to him about it and everything. It was a really cool video. But unfortunately, when YouTube had their big giant server crash blitz thing, where we lost a bunch of the videos and it was horrible. The lucky thing is, we were able to save his thumbnail. Thank goodness for OneDrive. And hi, I want to thank you so much for being on the show, man. It was a, such a awesome treat. Now, everyone can see him on Facebook, and where can and you can also contact him on Facebook too. If you do need help, get a hold of him. He'll help you out. He will be the spiritual army. So, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, this is the real deal. This ain't no. This ain't, he's not no movie actor. He ain't no actor. This ain't for. This is the real deal. This is this is why I wore this background. If you see this background, this shows you this right here. That's some of the stuff he's seen. That's how spooky this stuff is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video and thank you so much for watching the Exorcist interview of Salad Bang, it's the first one. 
the next one we're going to be doing is Bob Larson. So a big shout out to him. He's going to be one of our next Exorcist interviews. Then, we, you know, we're going to have more videos than that too. But thank you guys so much for watching the Exorcist interview of Salad Bank. If you like this interview, all you have to do is like that video. If you hit that like button, hit that dislike button if you did not like this video. And if you adore this video, all you have to do is strangle that subscribe button, slap that like button in the face, and pow right in the kisser.